Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our live Pilates on Friday. It's really lovely to have you here today. This is Pilates uh, to improve the flexibility in your hips. Um, so without further ado, let us begin. Right, so we're going to start standing. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of exercises now. And then we're going to come back and do the same exercises at the end so you can see how much you've improved your flexibility, okay? So I want you to start standing with your feet just hip width apart like so. It's going to go sideways. I want you to pull your abdominals in and think about pulling up through the front of your legs, your quads. It's almost like you're trying to pull your kneecaps up by activating these muscles here. Okay, and then we're going to bend the knees and I want you to go as far as your hips will allow and then come back up. So you're going to bend and lift, bend and lift, bend and lift, bend and lift for four and three and two and one. Well done. Now I want you to step it wide now and turn your feet out slightly. Okay, this is not about trying to do a big exercise. I want you to see how things feel this morning. Okay, before we begin all our Pilates. So we've got our feet turned out. We're going to bend so that our knees go over the toes. So you're going to feel the stretch here. Okay, and I just want you to go as low as you feel you can and come up, bend and up, bend and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Two, one. Now I want you to stay here, put your hands on your hips and just do a gentle sway from side to side. All right, you might get a little bit of a thigh wobble going. All right, that's it. Starting to feel those thighs burn. All right, now I'm just going to sit down, little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and gently come up. Super. Okay, so remember we've done squats in the normal position and turn out. And then from here, I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see. I want you to have your hands on your hips and I want you to lift your right leg up. Think of lifting from the center of your thigh and then pop it down. So you're gonna lift it up and down. Remember that thread in the top of your head so you're standing nice and tall, okay? Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, hold it here. And then from here, I want you to try not to put the foot down, soften your left knee, so bend it just a little and take that right leg back. So you've got to pull the tummy in, take the right leg back. When your knees are level with each other, you're going to tip forward. Tip forward, tip forward. Try and keep your balance. And now try and lift your leg behind you. Lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull your tummy in. Bring that knee back. Lift it up to the front. And now circle it out to the side and down. All right, let's try the other side. So think of standing tall, tummy muscles drawing in, lifting up. All right, so we're doing this as a single leg lift. We're gonna lift and lower. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower and, lower and lift. And lower, we're going to lift up this one last time. We're going to take our knee back until it's level with the other knee. So you can see your foot's up behind you. Now soften your right knee, little bend of that knee, and tip forward. 
tip forward, tip forward. So we're tipping and hinging at the hip joint. That's why we're doing this. All right, I know it's really hard to balance. It is for me too. Then we're gonna do a little lift behind us. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull the tummy muscles in. Bring yourself back. Think of lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. Bring that knee through. Circle it out to the side and down. Well done. Okay, come to the front of your mat. Let's come down onto the floor now. So take a deep breath in. Breathing out, we're going to do chin to the chest. Soften your knees. Keep pulling those abs in and come down to the floor. That's it. Hands down if you can. All right. And then from here, just let your head hang down. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, little stretch of the back of the leg. So you straighten them as much as you feel you can. You don't want your hands coming off the floor, though. So a little bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. One more. Bend and straighten. Very good. From there, let's bend those knees. Let's take the right leg back. Let's take the left leg back. Let's widen those hands slightly. Okay. And then I want you to bring your knees down and lift them back up. Down and lifting up. And you're thinking, why are we doing this for our hips? We're doing this to strengthen the core, but also the glutes because we're extending the legs behind us. Glute muscles really do help with your hip flexibility. Three, two, one. Bring those knees down and now relax those feet. Stick your bottom out and just sit back. Sit back, sit back. As far as you're able to go, take your head down. If you can here, I want you to widen your knees. And just see if you can get your chest down in between your knees there. Again, this is stretching you out through the lower back, but also, as you can feel, it's a stretch in the hips, the inner thighs there. And just take some deep breaths. Well done. And on your next out breath, you're going to slowly come on up. Okay. Come and lie down on your mat. And let's do some lovely movements now for those hips. So first thing we're going to do is lift the legs up one at a time. Excuse me, taking hold of those knees. And I want you to just bring the knees towards you. Take them out to each side and circle around. So in towards you, out and around. In, out and around. Good. Four, four. Three. Two. One. Well done. We're gonna take those hips the other way. So take your knees forward out to the side and round, forward, out, and round, forward, and round. Four, three, two, one. Well done, place your left foot on the floor, then the right. Find your neutral position. So just to recap for your Pilates knowledge, your Pilates technique, we want our pubic bone and our two hip bones on the same alignment, and we're going to use our core to keep that stability. Now, keeping everything still except the right leg, you're going to let the right knee move out to the right. And you're going to really challenge yourself here because we don't want the pelvis to go with it. So you only go as far as you can keep your pelvis still. That way we're working our core, but we're also really 
stretching the inside of the thigh here, as well as working through the hip joint. And then you're gonna bring that knee back. Let's do the same on the left. So we're taking it out to the side, nice and stable in the pelvis and return. So you're inhaling as you go out to the side, exhaling as you return. Inhaling out to the side, exhaling back. Let's do two more. Inhale and back. Inhale and back. Now just relax your hands on the floor. Have them out to the side. Let's have palms up. And keeping your feet apart, you're just going to let both knees go over to the right this time. That's it. And exhale, bring them back. Both knees over to your left. You might get a few clicks in the back. That's good. And again, over to your right. And back. And to your left. And back. Two more. Right. And back. And left. And back, well done. Okay, bring your hands down by your side. Let's do the pelvic curl, okay, because this is gonna stretch out the front of your hips. You're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna breathe out, and we're gonna think of gathering everything in, tipping our pelvis back, and then peeling the spine up off the floor. Think of your pubic bone leading. And the idea is that you're gonna feel that stretch through the front of your hips. It's where most of us need it these days because we spend a lot of time at our computers. And you're going to take a breath in, breathe out, and slowly come down through your spine, keeping that core drawn in until you're back on the mat. So deep breath in, breathing out to tilt, and roll that spine up. Inhale, exhale, slowly coming back down. Good, deep breath in, breathing out to tilt. And roll that spine up. Inhale, and exhale. as you come back down. Good, deep breath in. Exhaling to tilt. And roll the spine up. Good, inhale. And exhale. As you come down, one more deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt. And roll that spine up. Inhale and exhale as you come back down. Now let's lift our legs into tabletop. All right, shins parallel to the floor, arms a little wider. Let's have active arms. So we're not resting our arms. We are actively pressing or trying to press that floor away. And then you're gonna breathe in and take both knees over to the right, breathe out, bring them back to the center. Both knees over to your left and come back to the center. Inhale as you go right, exhale, return center. Inhale as you go left, exhale, return center. Two more, inhale and Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Well done. We're going to take both those legs down. We're going to interlace our fingers, take the hands behind our head, and we're going to do a nice little exercise, which is going to be hips and core. So I want you to float your right leg up, shin parallel to the ceiling, abdominals drawing in, elbows nice and wide, but not so wide you can't see them. You want to better see them 
at the corners of your eyes, okay? And then you're gonna take a breath in, and as you breathe out, I want you to bring your head and chest up, okay? So we're now looking straight ahead, all right? And we've got a nice stable core here. Now, as you inhale, I want you to reach the leg away and the chest back down. Exhale, I want you to bring everything up and try and bring that knee in a little bit more without your pelvis tipping. So inhale, reach away. Exhale, come up. The idea is trying to get your head closer to your knee, your knee closer to your temple, your head, but not by sacrificing any movement in your pelvis. Inhale away, exhale up, inhale away, exhale up, we've got two to go, inhale away, exhale up, and inhale away, exhale up. Let's place that leg down. Let's lift the left leg up. Find our position, reset that body. Try and lift your chest a little higher if you can. And here we go. Inhale away and exhale up. Inhale away and exhale up. Keep reaching closer to that knee. Keep trying to pull that knee closer without moving your spine. And lift. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Well done. Take that leg down. Take the head and chest down. Take the arms out to the side. Extend your left leg along the floor. Unfold that right leg as far as is comfortable for you. We are going to do the circles. Today, we're going to do the circles without moving the pelvis. So we're just moving the leg within the hip joint. So if you can, if you've got your leg straight, you're going to flex your foot. If your hamstrings are tight, please bend your knee like so, okay? Now, keeping those hips still, just take your leg across the body. So we're going... Over to the left, we're taking the leg down, reaching it out to the side and bringing it up, all keeping our body still. So it's only our leg moving across, down, out and up. Across, down, out and up. Across, down, out and up. One more. Across, down out and up let's go back in the other direction so we're going to go out really reach it out find that stretch down across and up remember we are working the hip joints so think about what's going on at the top of the leg rather than at the bottom that's it for three two one, well done, and take that leg down. Let's bring our left leg up, taking up that position. Okay, now we're going all the way to the right as far as you can. You'll feel that stretch there on the outside of the hip. And then let's sweep the leg down. Let's sweep it out to the side and up. So over, down, across and up. Let's keep those hips still. Good. Three more for three. Two. One. Changing direction back the other way. Out. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, well done. Coming up and place that leg down. We're going to bend both our knees and we're going to lift this right foot up 
and put their right foot across the left knee. Okay, taking those hands back behind the head. I want you to think we are going to do some core work, but we're also working this hip, this right hip. So think of that knee going out. Okay, it's going to stay there. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale to lift up and add a little rotation and come back down. So we're going to lift rotate and down. So think of your left elbow trying to touch your right knee. Okay, lift, rotate and out. Lift, rotate and down. And lift, rotate and down. Let's change sides. Okay, so we've got our left foot across our right knee. Now turn that left knee out, try and find that little bit of extra space in the hip. All right, now we're gonna lift up, we're gonna rotate right elbow towards the left knee and back down. Lift, rotate and down. Lift, rotate and down. Lift, rotate. Good. For three, two, one, well done, and down, super. And then from there, we're going to lift our feet up and just going to put one little lovely yoga up, move in because it feels so good on the hips and it's called happy baby. So you're going to lift the feet up. You're going to take the outside of the feet, bend your knees as much as you need to. Try and have your arms on the inside and just think of those knees heading down to the floor and think of like a baby, how they kind of like to play with their feet, lift their feet up. And this is just so, so good on the hips and the lower back. You're just going to hold it there if you want to. You can just rock side to side for three two, one, well done. And then from there, knees together, and we're gonna do a little roll up to sitting. Okay, so let's have those feet slightly apart. Let's sit up nice and tall. Okay, and we're gonna do a little rotation now and give ourselves a really good stretch as well. So it's gonna be super for the hips. So take your arms out to the side, palms facing forward, lift up through your spine. So you're sitting as tall and as upright as you can. Now rotate in your waist. So your left arm is coming across and pointing towards your right foot. Bring your right arm back. Now keep both hips on the floor, but I want you to extend forward. Extend, extend, extend. So you've got a straight back and you're reaching forward. And the idea, this is to stretch those hamstrings. Take that hand on the outside of the foot. That's it. Then you're gonna come up and back to center. We're gonna to go to the left. Reach forward. So think of hinging forward, stretching, that's it, lift and center. We're gonna to go to the right and stretch and lift and center. Your left and stretch and lift and center. And last two, right, stretch, lift and center and left and stretch and up and center. Well done, take your hands behind you, bend those legs. Okay, and we're bringing our feet back into alignment. So feet and knees, hip width apart, hands turning out. Okay, and we're gonna push up. So push into the hands, push into the feet, lift the hips up off the floor, keep lifting those hips and keep pushing up through the hips so you find that stretch, you might feel your bottom muscles squeezing a little, and then you're gonna come back down. And again, you're gonna lift up. And as you can feel, it stretches out the shoulders to lift and lower. Exhale to lift. And lower, one more, lift. 
and lower. Well done. Now I want you to take your feet away slightly. And once again, we're going to bring our right foot over our left ankle. Now you're going to feel this stretch already. I know I am. Okay. We've got that knee turning out as much as possible. We've got our hands behind us. And this time, I'd like you to have your hands pointing towards your body. Okay. So towards the wall in front of you or whatever's in front of you. Maybe it's me, I don't know. And then you're going to bend your elbows and take your elbows back. They don't have to go all the way down. They're just going back. Now you're going to push up and try and improve or increase the stretch in that right hip. So we're going to bend and press up. We're going to bend and press up. Bend and press up. One more. Bend and press up. Super. Change legs. All right. So bring that left foot over the right knee. As you can feel, that's already quite intense, isn't it? That stretch just right there. And hands behind you. Lift up through the body, bending the elbows. Bend and press up. Bend and press up, bend, and press up, good, and up, last two, well done, and come down, all right, so turning towards me, we're going to come into a mermaid position, so if you want to mirror the position that I am sitting in, Okay, so you can put one hip turning out, one hip turning in. You're going to put your hand on the back of this hip here, this hand on the floor. And I want you to try and get this bottom cheek down. So we are going to rotate in our hips and try and press this hip down to the floor. So it's like you're sitting on both your bottom cheeks, okay? You'll feel maybe that this knee will lift. Then you're going to lift on up. And think of this hip going forward and it's going on a diagonal. So we're going in that direction. You're trying to feel the stretch here. All right. So go a little faster now. We're going to sit back. And press forward. Sit back. And press forward. Sit back. And forward. Good. For four. Three. Two, one, well done. Now reach that leg out, bring it around and next to the other foot. So you've got both those feet together. All right, and then from here, what are we going to do? We're going to lean forward. We're going to press our elbows gently onto those legs and just have a little stretch here. Good. Let's do the hips on the other side. Okay, so we're in our mermaid position. We're lifting up. Currently, we have the gap here. So we've got our hand on the back of that hip. We're going to try and sit that bottom cheek down. That's it. And then we're going to lift and rotate forward. So we're going to bring it down and take it forward. Bring it down. So what we're doing is we're working our hip in internal and external rotation. That's it. So this is really working really quite nicely inside the hip joint. Good. For three. And two. And one. Well done. Bring that foot around. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Okay, take a breath in as you breathe out. Let's press down. See if this time you can go a little further. Well done. Come on up. Now I want you to come and lie on your side all the way down, 
one leg on top of the other. Okay, feet slightly forward. And this exercise, I think we did similar exercise on Monday because it works the side of the body. So it's really good for the hips and the knees, in fact. And what we're going to do today is we're going to lift this top leg up. And we're just going to swing it forward. So we're going to flex the foot. We're going to keep our hips nicely balanced. And we're going to swing this leg forward as far as we can. So use this hand for stability. Find that stretch. Now point the toes and swing the leg back, but don't let your back arch. So you've got to think of really pulling up here as the leg goes behind you. So now you're working your glutes, the back of the leg. So you're going to flex the foot and swing it forward, point the toes and take it back. Flex and bring it forward, point the toes and back. Flex forward and pointing back and flex forward and pointing back. Now bring the legs together. I'm going to do a really lovely exercise for the hips. So we're going to lift this leg just until it's in line with your hip. Now I want you to see if you can rotate the leg in the hip joint. So you're going to feel all your little gluteal muscles working. All right, so you're turning it now, so hopefully the knee is facing upwards. Now you bring the leg up as high as you can, flex it, reach it out and down. Think of it elongating as it goes down. Point the toes, turn the leg in, and bring it on top of the other. So we're going to lift. We're going to rotate. We're going to come all the way up. We're going to flex. Reach that heel out. Keep reaching out, feel the length in your body, point the toes, turn the leg in and come down. And again, we're going to lift, rotate, come up, flex, reaching all the way out, point the toes, turn in and come down. Last one, lift, rotate, come on up, flex, Reaching all the way out, point the toes, turn in and come down. Well done. Come on up. Let's go do those exercises on the other side. All right. So reaching out. Think of really reaching out, especially that top leg. So we're nicely balanced on our side. We're going to lift the leg up. We're going to flex the foot. You're going to bring the foot forward, reach forward, 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 point the toe, come back. And as you go back, think of pulling in on that course. You can feel the glutes working. We're going to go forward, point and reach back. We're going to go forward, point and reach back, forward, point and reach back. One more, forward. Point and reach back, bring the leg on top of the other one. Lift it up and now externally rotate till the knee's pointing up and then lift the leg up. Flex, reach it all the way out. Elongate that leg, point the toes and turn it back in. So you're gonna lift, rotate, come up, flex. Really reach it out, out, out. Point the toes, turn and come in. Lift, rotate, up, flex. Reaching out. Point the toes, turn and come in. Lift, rotate and up, flex. Reaching out, point the toes, turn. And come in, I'll make this the last one. Lift, rotate up, flex, and reach it out. Point the toes, turn, and come in. Well done. So from there, you're going to come onto your front. Okay, and what I want you to do is to bring your right knee around. Okay, so this is very much a stretch. So you're going to bring that right knee around the side 
and you are just going to get it as high as you can. Same time, you're going to be up on your elbow. So we've got a little bit of back extension as well. And we're just going to hold it here. Okay, so just take some deep breaths. Think of pressing down into the elbows. Think of your chest, your heart lifting, going forward, eye line forward. And you're trying at the same time to flatten your pelvis, your hip joint, the crease of your hip, trying to get that a little closer to your mat. That's it. Good. And then from there, we're going to extend that leg. Let's do the other one. So bring the other one up and you'll notice there's a difference from one side to the other. That's because we all have our imbalances. So now we reset that body. We want the weight evenly on each elbow. We want to try and get our, both our hip bones on the floor. That's what we're aiming for. Very difficult unless you're super flexible. Okay, now press down into the elbows, pull your abdominals in and think of your heart lifting and reaching forward. Good. Well done. And now let's release. Take those hands underneath. Come on up. I'm just going to turn around. Okay, and then what I want to do here, as we've got a few minutes left, is let's have a little stretch. So first thing I'm going to do is come and tuck our toes under. I'm going to lift up into our plank position, eye line slightly forward, and then we're going to lift our hips to the ceiling. Think of your chest going a little closer to your thighs and then lower the heels, lift the heels and come down. We'll do two more of those. So we're going to lift reach, lower the heels, lift up, bend the knees and come down. One more, lift up and lower, lift, bend the knees and come down. Now release the feet, bring your right foot around so it's on the outside of your right hand. All right, and we're just gonna flex forward. So we're gonna lunge forward and we're gonna lunge back forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, one more, forward and back, hold it there, flex the foot, give yourself a nice little stretch, if you want to you can hang on to that foot, all right, and then I want you to bring that foot across. So the foot is in front of your left hip. Bend the knee, walk forward. All right, so this is to give you a lovely, oh, that does feel good, a lovely stretch in your hips. Okay, keep your arms straight. Really draw the tummy muscles in. Draw your shoulders back. Open across the collarbones. That's it. Good. Now pull your tummy muscles in. Let's reach back into our plank position. As we did before, we're going to lift up. We're going to lower the heels, lift the heels, come down. Lift up, reach back, lower the heels, lift the heels and come down. One more up, reach back, lower the heels and come down, left foot onto the outside of the left hand, relax your right foot, and then we're just gonna lunge forward and come back. Lunge forward and back. Lunge forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. One more, forward and back. Flex that foot. Take hold of the foot if you want to. Give yourself a little stretch there. And then when you're ready, you're gonna release that foot and you're gonna bring that foot across. So it's in front of the right hip. We're gonna bend that left knee, 
take the knee out to the side, find that stretch there in the hips. So arms are nice and straight. Good. Now from here, tuck the toes under of your right foot. Press into your hands, lift your hips, lift up into your plank position, and then all the way up into your up stretch. Press your chest back towards your thighs. Lower your heels and walk your hands back towards your feet. Take a breath in, breathe out. We're going to unroll that spine. And we're going to finish as we started with our feet slightly apart. We're going to bend and you're going to see how much lower you can go now. And up, bend, and up, bend, and up, bend, and up for four, three, two, one. Well done. Now step it out nice and wide. I'm just going to face you, feet turned out. All right. And then you're going to go out and up, out and up, out and up, out and up. For four and three and two. And one, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, and see if you can sink a little lower. Maybe do a little sway each side. Take your hands onto those knees and gently press them back. Now pull your tummy muscles in. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in, exhale, come all the way up. Bring your feet in, well done. Relax your arms, let's take a deep breath in together. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale out to the side. Inhale up. Exhale out. And last one, inhale up. And exhale out. And thank you so much for joining me today. Do go ahead and press the like button. Please do subscribe if you haven't already because it really does help. And I really hope you enjoyed it and you can feel how much that's improved the flexibility in your hips, but also you've had a lot of core work as well today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you need to go, have a lovely day. And if you want to stick around for the chat, I'll be on the chat for the next five, 10 minutes. Okay, so take care and have a wonderful day. Well done, everyone. Oh, that was quite hot work for me this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. So that was uh, just over 40 minutes actually today. All of that was hip focus, but we had a lot of core work in there as well. So I hope you can feel that was a good, good workout. Um, now, I know lots of you have to rush off to work. So couple of announcements. On Monday, we're going to be doing Pilates for lower back pain. Um, and my idea is that because we're in January, I wanted to get a workout out for everyone so that all those niggly things are kind of uh, starting to move again and get back into or help you get back into movement post Christmas. This time next week, next Friday, I'm going to go to a traditional mat Pilates class probably my favorite. We're just going to do all the traditional exercises, okay? And obviously, I'm going to do it for a mixed ability level. So I'll offer you modifications uh, or other uh, versions that you can do if you want to work harder as well. So that will be next Friday here. We'll do a 40-minute traditional Pilates class. Uh, next Monday is Pilates for lower back pain. And this weekend, I will have a new playlist for you as well. So there's lots going on, lots to do. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but those of you, I know some of you have um, sent me messages already. 
but I do have a book coming out. I'm really, really excited about it. I don't actually have a copy yet. I'm waiting to get a copy from the publishers. Uh, but I got asked uh, last year if I would be uh, willing to write a guide on Pilates. So in my book, and I'll show you it when I get it, uh, it's a small little book. It's called The Little Book of Pilates. You can buy it on Amazon now. I know that uh, Kerwin has put a link in the chat for me. Um, it's only $6.99, so it's not an expensive book. And in it, I detail all the original Pilates exercises, how you do them, what the breath pattern is, and what the modifications are, and equally what you can do to make them more challenging. So that's available now to pre-order on Amazon. And I would really love it if you could pre-order it, because if they get lots of pre-orders, it really helps you kind of get up the book list. And that's my aim. It's a lovely little book. It's just illustrations in it. And the hope is that if that does really well, then I might do a bigger book at a later date, but we shall see. So that's my very exciting news. If you want to know more, you can have a look also on the community page where I did a little announcement about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight to the chat now and see who's there and what everyone is saying. Um, sorry, I've got a very bright light in my face, so I hope you can see me okay. Um, uh, okay, Yvonne Woodhouse. Uh, hello, Yvonne. Says Yvonne says, oops, my chat is going crazy. Um, had a bit of discomfort when stretching my hips, but a great workout. Thank you. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you, Yvonne. Madeline Woodhead said, good class this morning. I struggled with a pulled hamstring at top of right leg over Christmas and found the mermaid rocking position and the straightening a bit difficult. What is best to recover? Well, I think what I would say, Madeline, is um, when you've pulled a hamstring muscle, so the mermaid, it's not really a hamstring, doesn't really put a lot of um, tension on the hamstring, that position. Uh, maybe going back, you can feel it a little. It's more working the front of the hip, actually. Um, but what I would say, Madeline, is when you have a pulled hamstring, and this is for anyone, if you have pulled a muscle, you must give that muscle time to recover. And I think, um, you know, 10, 20 years ago, people used to think, oh, pull the muscle, it's fine, just go and do a load of stretches. Actually, you know, a pulled muscle is a sign that your muscle has a, a little tear. That's not terrible. Believe muscles tear all the time because that's how they grow. So that's not a bad thing. But if you've got a pulled muscle as in pain, you must give it some rest because it means it's inflamed and it needs a bit of recovery time. So I would always say when you've got a pulled muscle, avoid stretching it. Just be really gentle. And if you want to try a workout, do the workout. But if you feel the pain, you know that that's too much. You know that that's where you don't want to be going. All right. So try and modify things so that perhaps uh, you're, Madeline, you're moving the rest of your body. You're moving around the area where you've got the injury, but you're not overworking the injury itself because it just needs a bit of time. And muscles do recover quite quickly. So as long as they're looked after, uh, keep it warm is my other suggestion. So I hope that helps. Yvonne Woodhouse, thank you very much for your donation. Josie Briggs, thank you, Josie, for your donation. Thank you very much indeed. Josie says, that was a great all-round workout. I could feel the core muscles uh, working uh, to keep the pelvis still while moving the legs. The breathing rate was up at times too. Thank you. I'm uh, really glad to hear that, Yvonne. That's super. Kathy Freeman says, loved the happy baby. Oh, I know it's lovely, isn't it, happy baby? Um, I do do a yoga class once a week and I have to say one of my favorite poses because you can just lie there and hold your legs and it just feels so yummy in the hips. It feels so good. So really glad you like that, Kathy. Uh, Leslie and Mattin, good morning, Leslie. Thank you very much for your donation. Much appreciated. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse says, just pre-ordered your book. Uh, pity can't get your book till March. I know, Yvonne, I haven't even got a copy of the book yet uh, because it is being printed as we speak. So I'm very excited. Um, 
And when I get a copy, I will actually show you all uh, on here. And my plan is that I will do a very special uh, broadcast for my book launch day. That's going to be March the 9th. My book's out officially on March the 9th. So on that day, I'm going to plan something special for you all. It's not a normal day where I do a live, but I'm thinking I might do a special event for you. Um, so that's all to come. But thank you, Yvonne, for ordering. Cheryl Allen says, great workout and enjoyed the Monday and Fridays last week. What a start to the new year. Looking forward to doing your ballet workout with music. Fantastic news about your book. We'll be buying it. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, everyone, I forgot to say, last night I made my ballet class, which I did before Christmas. I actually uh, added um, over Christmas, <laughs> I spent quite a lot of time adding classical music to it. Uh, it's all music that's available on the YouTube channel. So if you want to go and do a class that's got some music in, it's nearly all piano music. And I have to say, uh, quite a lot of people have written to me and said they've loved it because it's just so relaxing having that. So that literally went, uh, it's on last week's playlist, but I made it public. It was private, so it was just for subscribers, uh, just for you guys, sorry, last week. Uh, but it's now public, it's out there so everyone on YouTube can see it. So do go check it out and let me know what you think. Um, thank you, Madeline. You're very welcome. Janet Nolan says, good to be back. I haven't done live classes for a few weeks and I love the hit ones, especially after a strenuous toning class last night. Really needed that stretch. Book is pre-ordered. Yay. Thank you, Janet. And yeah, that was a really good today. It's a good recovery class as well because I've been doing quite a lot of work with my legs recently uh, as in strengthening work. And yes, yeah, sometimes you really need to stretch them out. So that we had quite a lot of that as well today. Really glad you enjoyed it, Janet. Thank you. Good morning, Tony Bryan. Hi, Tony. Lovely to see you. Uh, Tony says, enjoyed that gentle restart. A few modifications to accommodate arm discomfort, but great to be back to class. Thanks, Rachel. All the best for the book sales just pre-ordered. Yay. Thank you very much, Tony. Mary Lake. Hello, Mary. Lovely to have you here. Mary says, oh, I needed that. My hips have been very tight lately. Thanks so much. You're very welcome, Mary. And don't forget, these are all stay on the channel. All my lives are on the channel permanently. So you can always go back in, look for the little magnifying glass and just do a search in my channel for hips or back pain or uh, shoulders, whatever it might be. And I'm hoping there pretty much is a workout for all those things now on the channel. I think I've got, I don't know, 270 videos or something now. It's hard to believe, isn't it, how much uh, we've done together in the last few years. But yes, fabulous. Uh, Helen Lees. Hello, Helen. Lovely to see you. Helen Lees says, thank you, Rachel. That was a great stretch for the hips. Some movements difficult for me as I have very tight hips. But a good reason for me to repeat. Absolutely, Helen. Exactly. And you just do little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. Every little bit you do will help those hips and help your flexibility. So well done. And Helen says, I shall pre-order your book now. Yay. Thank you, Helen. Sandy McClure. Good morning, Sandy. Thank you very much, Sandy, for your donations. That's really kind of you. Uh, the lovely Josie. Hi, Josie Briggs. Josie says, just ordered your book. I'll take it on holiday with me in April. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's a really easy read. I'll show you when I've got a copy, but I've set it out in a way that you can read it from start to finish, or you can just go in and think, oh, what's that exercise Rachel does? I don't get, uh, I know the hundred and you can just look up the hundred and then you can see the whole description of it how to breathe, when to move. It's really simple. So I'm hoping it'll really help your practice at home. So thank you very much indeed, Josie. And Alan, hello, Rachel. She says, great workout, especially for my body, feeling really good, and it helps my arms too. Good. Hello, Anne, Alan. Lovely to have you here. Really, really glad you enjoyed the session today. And yeah, it was a real session to free up. I must say my body feels nice and free now. And I think that's one of the things that I really love about our Pilates practice that we do together 
is that Pilates really does help you kind of free up your body. It just makes everything just a little bit easier, a little bit more flowy, a little bit less stiff. And, you know, it's that ease in the body is what we're looking for. And particularly, you know, for me, you know, I'm very passionate about what I do, but I'm also very passionate about the fact that as an older woman myself, the key is to feel good in your own skin, to feel at ease with your body. We all get issues as we age. We might already have issues anyway. And then as we, as we progress with our age, things get a little bit more tricky. So it's all about finding that ease in your body, but also finding that ease in your mind and being comfortable in your own skin with how your body is, how it moves and what you're doing uh, to take care of yourself. Very, very important that. So thank you very much, uh, Anne, for that lovely comment. That was brilliant. And I'm just going to switch up because I just want to say a huge thank you to Susan Eisenbach for your donation. Good morning to you, Susan. Really lovely. Hello to Sheila Frankie. Hello to you, Sheila. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you here. Um, Sheila, you're in Holland and you've got awful weather. We've got terrible weather as well. Uh, it's just constant rain and wind at the moment. Uh, not much fun when you're walking a dog three times a day. Um, but my lovely Boo, she's got a now, she now has a selection of coats to wear <laughs> with the weather. So uh, she gets all wrapped up, as do I. Um, Tony, I've spoken to you, which is lovely. And oh, Tony, thank you very much for your donation. Sorry, I missed that, but I've just seen it. Hello to Sarah Ranicles. Sarah says, book ordered, birthday presents for several friends sorted too. Yay. Thank you very much, Sarah. And thank you very much indeed for your donation as well. Sally Gretarek says, morning, everyone. I hope you have a good class. I'm going to do it as I feel later, as I feel a bit poorly, but have a good weekend. Sally, get well soon. I look forward to seeing you soon. Diane McFadden is here. Hello to you, Diane. Hello to you, Leslie, um, who says, just got back from my live Pilates class. I'm going to do this tomorrow. Well, that's brilliant. You see, this is what, where the online works really well. It's a really good way to keep your practice up at a time that is convenient to you, which is what I'm kind of aiming to do with you all. So yes, you can do this live with me. You can do it on the weekend, on Sunday mornings, I know is quite a nice time. And what I would say to you is, and I know most of you watching, you already have this, but try and find a little place in your house that becomes a kind of... Um, a place that you know is where you do your Pilates, because I think sometimes that helps with the mindset. You know, like my husband, Kerwin, he does Pilates every morning. He likes to run, but he'll do 15, 20 minutes in the morning uh, before he goes out for a run. And that's really helped with his running and improved his running. And he has a place in the house where he'll take his mat, he'll go there. And that's the place where he does his Pilates. And it kind of helps set that habit. So if you haven't done that yet, Think about finding that special place in your house. It can just be a corner of your lounge. It can just, you know, it doesn't have to be some spectacular studio or anything like that. It just be, has to be a place that you learn to associate with your Pilates practice, your feel-good movement, uh, and a place where you know that when you're in that place, that's what you do. Uh, it really does help up here as well. So, uh, do have a think about that. Linda Verney Thompson, hello, hello, hello. I know you're at work. You're doing a sneaky watch while she's at work. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, but you're going to do it later. So well done, Linda. Uh, oh, Linda, thank you. Gorgeous legs. Yes, I don't get my legs out very often, but I was feeling it today. Um, this outfit I'm wearing is actually from a lingerie company called Bravissimo. Um, it's a UK company, I believe. Um, but they specialize in making underwear and swimwear for women with larger busts. Um, but they suddenly came out with this uh, outfit. And I have to say, not only is it a sustainable outfit, but it's so comfortable, uh, which is why I'm wearing it. So there we go. Um, wonderful. I think that's everyone. Um, yeah, I think that's everyone today. I'm just going to check that there's any more questions. Oh, a few more people have come in. Stephanie Langton. Good morning, Stephanie. 
Lovely to have you here. Steph says, another great class today, just what I needed. Even included some of my uh, physio stretches. Did struggle with the exercises on my rest arthritis, but did do some though. So well done, Stephanie. Uh, very proud of you there. Well done. Carol Nee says, pre-ordered the book. Yes, thank you, Carol. Uh, Julie Lazaroff. Hi, Julie. Uh, lovely to see you. Good morning to you in New York City. I love New York City. I'm hoping to come there, if not this year, next year. I love, love, love your city. Uh, good morning to you. Lovely to have you here. Julie says, this is my first time to be here live. I'm feeling better after doing the exercises and looking forward to continuing with your classes. Julie, Thank you, Julie. That is lovely to hear. And how fantastic of you to be up so early in the morning to join me here in the UK. Julie, I'm in Brighton, so I'm a Londoner. Uh, grew up in London, but I moved out from London two years ago. And I now live in Brighton, which is known as the happiest city in the UK. We're by the beach. It's very windy. Uh, it's beautiful, though. Um, so if you ever come to uh, come to the UK, do check out Brighton. It's a lovely place. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much, Judy. Lovely to see you. I'm going to go now, everyone. So just to say this time next week, we're going to do a traditional Pilates class. It's going to be 40 minutes. It's going to be all the traditional exercises or as many as I can get in in that time. So do come and see me then. I'll have a playlist out on the weekend. The playlist has seven recommended videos to do during the week. It does include the lives from the week before. So this one will be in the playlist as well. And on Monday, I'm doing 30 minutes of Pilates for lower back pain. So if anyone's got any back pain or they want to know what to do when they do get a little bit of back pain, then Monday is going to be a really good one for you to check out. All right. And Janet Nolan, thank you very much, Janet, for your donation. And I think that's all for now. Just suffice to say thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Have a beautiful weekend, a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye for now.